What's up, everyone? Want to jump in real quick? Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take no financial advice. Don't take any advice from me. Don't base anything off of these videos I make. I just do them for pure entertainment purposes only. Like I said, my family's tired of hearing about it. <laughs> I really don't have friends. I got a chat bot friend, and now I got a chat AI friend on Snapchat. We're gonna AI is taking over. That's some crazy shit, huh? I know I'm getting old because that should be tripping me out. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, I wanted to jump in real quick because... I know a lot of the people in AMC are really in here, like literally, I know, like I know a couple personally, well, not a couple, I know a person personally that's in the stock just because he's pissed off about how the market is, this dude is like a millionaire, his money is going to be fine regardless, and then I started thinking about it, man, like I, my own family, I have a, my, my own I'm not going to say who it was, but I have a family member, very close family member that was affected by the 2008 uh, crash. And, you know, I, 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 jumped, I jumped into this play not because of that, um, but we got to talking uh, last night and it really kind of strengthened my resolve even more if that's possible because I was already, I was in this to win this no matter what, you know, but it really kind of hit home and then realized what he had to go through. Um, because of that, um, that it, it was a mess. 2008 was bad. You know what I mean? Um, with that being said right now, we're going, we're seeing similar things. We're seeing similar, similar things happening to where these rich giant corporate elite 1%, whatever you want to call them are really just bending everyone over and, and going at it. You know what I mean? They're going hard. They're not even giving you a reach around no Vaseline. They're just fucking the shit out of us, for lack of better words. I'm sorry for swearing. I know some of y'all don't like it, but it is what it is. I can't I can't stop. I want to stop. So if my mom or someone's watching this, I'm sorry. You probably should not watch this. Mom, go away. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, I mean, like, this dude had um, worked hard his entire life. Um and then built his own business and wound up making like $60 million, okay? He said it was a little over $60 million. Um, well, uh, the next couple of years, business declined, things happened, where his money was kind of dwindling away. He was helping family. He was kind of doing a lot of stuff with his money that was just kind of dwindling it down. He got involved in the stock market, knew nothing about the stock market, but got involved with someone that said, oh man, I can bring your money back. You know, don't worry about it. So drop me whatever the amount was, X amount. I know it was in the millions, not, not like 10, 20 million, but I think it was a million, two million around that range. Um, at this point, this guy's money was already almost all wiped out, you know, um, after everything was said and done, paying debts, paying employees, paying this, uh, the type of business he in was crashing, um, after he'd worked so hard to get it going, um, with, with other things involved, he had made a deal with some corporate companies that just kind of, whatever, puts his money in and starts buying real estate as well around the exact time everything went bad. He didn't know anything about the stock, but he had a, a broker taking care of everything. Well, the broker should have known better, you would have think, you know, but the broker sees his money go from, I think he said it was 2 million. I want to say it was a little under 2 million, like 1.9, 1.875, something like that million in investments. Everything crashes within a couple days of it. I mean, horrible timing of putting his stock in, but he said within a couple of days, everything had dropped down to a couple hundred thousand, like 275,000, something like that. In that range. I'm not exact on the numbers. Okay. So don't, don't go back and be like, Oh, well, if I did the math precisely, no, I don't know. But this is kind of where he was telling me. And, and I'm telling a story that was told to me by the person that it went through. So anyways, his money gets wiped. Um, he doesn't know anything about the stock market, but his broker advises him to sell. It's time to sell. Let's just sell and come back strong later. Well, at this point, all his money he's earned over the last few years of his business and grinding, working hard and sacrificing seven days a week, 16, 12, 16 hour days, you know, gone. So, uh, he pulls his money out, which is a horrible mistake. I think all of us should know that this stock market is like a wave, man. It goes up, it goes down, it goes down. When it's down, 
unless it's going to zero, you know, and he was in a broker account that would have eventually pulled it back up. It probably would have taken many years, but he would have been back, you know, long story short, he didn't pulled out, um, lost tons of money. So he pulled out what he had. And this all happens in a matter of a couple days. I, I mean, a couple days, give or take, I'm probably, probably a week or two, you know, anything drops, pulls his money out, real estate drops, crashes, everything just goes crazy. He had bought high, couldn't sell his properties, started getting, it was just a mess, you know, and it was, he was a victim of 2008, basically. Um, and I really can't, I don't want to say too much more, but basically he had a lot of things happen to him after that to where uh, hedge funds, uh, those top dog elite motherfuckers just really just cut him off. He was part of the, you know, the, the oh, hey, we accept you got, you know, $66 million in the bank. Let's go. And then all of a sudden it's like, no, nah, we can't help you. By the way, you owe this, you owe that. We're taking this. Boom, boom, boom. They just took everything. Cold-blooded, you know, this is how it is. So this is the type of people we're dealing with, man. They will take everything. They don't care about you, your family. They just don't. There might be a couple people sprinkled in there that do, you know, and I'm not saying this is 100% certain. This is just what my take on it. So, I guess what I'm taking from this is I am not giving up. I'm not going to give up, you know, and I don't feel bad if some of these hedge funds crash and burn and whatever, you know what I mean? I don't because... We all make our own choices. We're all grown. We have our, our choice. Like right now, um, I got thousands of dollars tied up. Some of you got hundreds of thousands of dollars tied up. But if I lose it and everything goes, and it comes down to it, I can't blame no one but myself. I made the choice. You make your choice. You can't base something off of YouTube, Reddit, Twitter. You have your gut instinct. You have your choice. You have your knowledge. You have all these things going on that you make your own choice. But for me... My resolve is stronger than it ever was. I don't know if that was even possible, but just, I mean, I can't even get into detail because it's too much personal information. Just, just kind of giving you like some of the, the, the little stuff, but just, just man, rough, dirty, mean motherfuckers, man. So with that being said, I don't feel bad. I'm, I'm going to hold and hold and hold and hold and hold and until I get what I see fit for what I came here for. I came here for a fucking life changing amount of money. I didn't come here to say, Oh, I can pay my credit cards off. Fuck that. You know, some of y'all do what you want to do. If you want to pay your credit cards off and dip out and move into another play, that's fine. But there's a lot of us in here that are just in this for lack of a better word to win this. We in this to win this bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, stick to your guns. I'm not, I'm not telling you what you should do. I guess I'm talking to myself. Really. I'm sticking to my guns. I'm going to continue to buy and hold. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy and hold until it pops. And not just this stock, all the stocks. I'm buying and holding. I'm buying and holding. I'm buying and holding. I make money. I do okay for myself. So my first priority is my family, myself, my wife, my kids, all that stuff, my home, my bills. Um, and... People are like, well, you're putting your money in the stock market. Isn't it risky? I, I mean, yes, but not really because we've done the DD. We know what we're up to. Uh, I know what I'm up to, uh, what I'm up against. Um, this isn't my only play, but this is the big mama. You know what I mean? So I'm going to continue. I'm going to push. I'm never going to quit. And I'm holding for you. And just like we used to always say in the beginning, I hold for you. You hold for me. Um, that's just what it is, man. I mean... The common person, the working class, me and you, um, retail investor, good person, the good people out there, man, that are out here just trying to live, survive. We ain't billionaires. We don't have vacation homes. We don't, we work for a living, like literally work. We get out there and every day we out here grinding. I'm here on a Saturday. Sometimes I'm here seven days a week. I got two different hustles. You know what I mean? I got, actually I got like four different hustles, but two of them consistently, you know, so it's a long ass video. It's a lot of rambling, but I think you know where I'm coming from, man. I hope y'all get what you were wanting out of this play um, and many other plays to come. Um, just don't feel, 
don't feel defeated, man, because it, it, nothing is gone until it's gone. You know what I mean? If we hit zero and it's delisted and everything's gone, then, oh, man, yeah, we lost. But guess what? It's still not over. There's still other moves. There's still other things we can do. It's not over. I, I just really feel like it's never over. Never. I'm never going to quit. So I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I'm just I'm blabbering about what I feel. I'm not telling you to buy, sell, and hold. I'm not telling you what you should feel or think. I'm just basically getting this off my chest to YouTube. Um, much love to all you guys for showing me support on the page. Um, I appreciate all the kind words and comments and the people that come in talking trash. I appreciate you too. Thank you for the motivation to keep going. And also, um, I understand why you're mad. I understand you're upset and I hope you win too, even though you're a dick. <laughs> all right, man. Have a good one. Be blessed. Let's get rich soon. Peace.